MovieWeb.com. What, what, what appealed to you about this role? Was it the chance to play Dylan at that point in his career, or just a chance to be in this film with this director, with these other stars? Yeah, that. Uh, it, it was definitely... Um, well, first of all, Michelle was on board the project first, and I, 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 um, so I knew about it through her, and I was excited for her, and it sounded amazing. And then there was another actor who was actually cast as Robbie, um, and I, I was in the middle of my year and a half off kind of thing, raising a child, and didn't plan on working, but then this actor f dropped out, and I was gonna be there anyway, and I loved Todd Haynes' his movies, and. Um, and the script was amazing and uh, um, super ambitious, and I, uh, and uh, you know, I, I, Bob Dylan obviously is 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 a incredibly uh, curious character, and uh, and um, so it was that. It was less. It was less about the role and more about the experience. I thought the experience would would be really wonderful, and it was. Um, yeah, and so, so, yeah, the character was, you know, not a lot really, really went into it. Like, Todd gave me really everything I needed on page. Um, there wasn't too much required from me other, other than to say, uh, read it, read it, read his dialogue. And that was kind of it. Um, yeah, but I had a lot of fun doing it. All right, well, yeah. you know, you and Michelle, you're in the film in different parts, yeah. different, uh, different sections. Uh, being a family man, <coughs> a family couple, as you are now, is that a good way to play it for you guys? I mean, do you go support her when she's on her film and then she comes supports you when you're on your film? Or just do the same film together? <laughs> uh, that's a funny question. Um, yeah, that's the way we did it, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very good in the movie, too. She is, she's yeah. a great, great, great actress. She's a wonderful actress, yeah. So when it comes to these big budget films, right? Because yeah. I know you're being asked a million Joker Dark Knight questions. Yeah. I wonder, do you do those films where you do like one big budget film every five years just so you can keep doing films like this? Um, or does it really appeal to you to go out there and play the Joker and be a... Yeah, I mean, I, I'd, I'd, I'd play the Joker if, if, if the Dark Knight had a budget of $100,000, I'd still want to play that role. I mean, to me, it was just the role of a lifetime. and. And uh, had I had more fun playing that character than I probably will play, you know, ever, ever, and probably in the future I'll probably never come across a, a character that was as fun as as that was. Um, so yeah, it just so happened to be, you know, this wonderful character that was a part of this huge machine, <laughs> and um, so yeah, it was, it was exciting. It was a lot of fun. I love Ang Lee. Uh, I worship the ground he walks on. I've had a chance to interview him twice in the last few months and actually have some drinks with him. And uh, I just want to ask you, what's it like to work with a man of that talent and grace yeah. and then work with like Christopher Nolan and, and Todd Haynes? Is there any common string that these great and creative abstract directors have that is ubiquitous amongst all of them? Um, yeah, I, I guess like no hesitation. You know, like their 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 choices are instinctual and they're immediate. Like there's there's not a lot of second thought to their direction. Like they know exactly what they are after. I think that's usually the uh, the, the common kind of thread <laughs> amongst good directors. It's, it's the guys that sit there kind of twiddling their thumbs that you worry about. <laughs> yeah.